Hello, Mario! For 140 seconds. Vlog number 149. Impulse Bananas. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, on my trip, I noticed in my journey to Walmart. I went to Walmart. That was one of my tourist destinations on my trip. My first and only visit uh, to Walmart, Walmart in my life uh, was very interesting. I spent a good uh, time there, but didn't have sufficient time to get through the whole shop. Uh, some interesting uh, different things there. Uh, guns on sale. Um, little BB guns and things like that, which we wouldn't see in New Zealand. But one of the things that stood out for me was what I call the impulse bananas. So in um, some of the big um, similar stores here in New Zealand, there's things, various things hanging around that the, the impulse buy where you see it and think, oh, yes, I'll take that. Well, in Walmart in uh, Boulder or Broomfield, they had impulse bananas. They just had racks with a hand of bananas on them. So I just thought it a little bit different that someone would suddenly think, oh, oh, I need a banana. I don't know why that was. It was just, um, well, I thought it was a, a wee bit different. And I have to say, Walmart was not the only store that I saw the Impulse Bananas at. They were at um, various... Uh, supermarkets and I think at Target as well they just just a single rack um, sometimes by the checkout uh, by the checkout just a yeah a rack with bananas on so you could buy single bananas I think were 29 cents each oh oh I just feel like a banana I don't know it just struck me as being very different and so that's my today's topic is the impulse bananas. Now let's have a look at today's background. Oh, here it is, today's background. I wonder what how that could be related to the to the topic impulse bananas. It looks like they're a bit of a got a bit of a group thing going on there and they're singing but um hmm i don't see any bananas in there so interesting so let's see what you can do with that one all right and yesterday hall of fame wt came through and yeah, I think he said he had a bit of difficulty with it. He looked up the Grammy Award, I think, for 1984, and he found that it was won by Weird Al Yankovic. Weird Al Yankovic. I'd heard of Weird Al Yankovic, so when I uh, knew that Weird was um, in my topic, or different, not Weird, um, immediately thought of Weird Al, and uh, yeah, he came through. So good stuff there, Al. Alrighty, so that brings us to the end of today's vlog. One take, one hit. What you see is what you get. If you like, like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Cheers. See you.